gonna do? Come on, I'm a highly favored. Don't wanna play me, uh. No conversation, ain't got time for no debating. It's for the taking, no hesitation, uh. Don't try my patience. I'ma pour out one for the set, boy, till there's nothing left. On a run to the bread until we all got them baguettes. Hear them footsteps coming, cause we coming for the check. Switch, not a day in my life. Lost my dogs, they by my side. Let me go ride till we die, die, die. We ain't gon' run, no, we gon' hide. I can never switch, not a day in my life. Smelling my dogs, they by my side. Let me go ride till we die, die, die. the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Just a short time ago, these Philly fans in full roar as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. Pyrotechnics ablaze. They're set to go as their Eagles will match up with the New Orleans Saints. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Let's go, let's go. 47 is the mic. Now wins. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way down to the 36-yard line. It's a big play there for the Eagles. 42 yards. First down. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Hey, exit. You going to see me in your nightmare. Mike 22. Come on now. Come on now. From the gun, it's wins. And he's taken down here by the Saints. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Looking deep for his tight end, Ertz. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it'll bring up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
Shotgun now for Wentz. Go. And that is incomplete. It was DJ Swearinger right there on the coverage. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Murray. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Hey, easy. Come on. Breeze to throw on third and one. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Ready. Five nine. Check, check, check. Marie's now on first down. Gin has it complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Now a second down run for Murray. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double up, double up. He's the opposite, opposite, opposite. Twist, 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 twist. Shit, shit. Hey, break it down, fellas, break it down. Twist, 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 twist. They go back to Murray on first down. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield strike. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. And some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Let's get off the field, D. Let's get off the field. From midfield, here's Breeze. Now Breeze wants the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. 20, 10, and he'll score. Touchdown, Eagles. And Charles, look at the big fella. What a rumble that was. Not only to scoop it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week. He's smiling. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ready. The Saints ready. offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Check, check. Watch Twitch. Watch the Twitter. Yeah, check, check. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. We're good. We're good. Ready. Switch, switch, switch. Look at that. Here's Murray now as they run it to start the drive. 
And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. You're good, you're good. I four, ready. What? What? To throw is Breeze. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And now some motion before the snap. Man, this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Shotgun now for Breeze. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath. First, do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Breeze. Well, this is caught by Gann. And he goes out right around the 39. Seven yards there and a first down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped. And that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together. And he catches it and goes over the sideline. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. That'll bring up second down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. We got chips over here. Chips over here. Here we go. Here we go. Now a play fake. Breeze. It's brought in right side by Ginn. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Breeze to throw. Thomas has got it. Complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 27-yard line. 
When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. And he'll be dropped at the 23 after a pickup of about four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Watch that in. That is right. That is right. Everyone's got four. Four down. Four. Breeze now to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. You don't see that a ton, do you? A cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved Ready. to the middle Five and just eight, sprints eight. over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Hey, you're on the over there. You're on the <laughs> Looking to throw on second down. Breeze, that's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Call it a gain of five. And that'll lead here to a third down. And it's third down. Ready. Five nine. Easy. Opposite. 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 Tight you're twenty one. Twenty one. Tight end right. Tight end right. Hey, right. 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 Tonight. Bravo. Twenty six. From the gun, it's Breeze. Cook's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Jared Cook. There to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Eagles' offense sent to begin their next drive. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. On first and ten, here's Wentz. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Wentz now to throw. Got an open man. It's Scott. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. 
They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. 81, 81. Go, go. Mark 22, Mark 22. Let's go, Heavy. Wentz now on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Now a throw here to his running back. He'll be stopped shy of the 45 despite a great move. It's a four-yard pickup, and it'll be third down. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. He's going to have the hook up to Scott. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big play there on the catch and run. 46 yards. I'm not sure this is how they had it drawn out on paper, but this is going to work out for them and then some, right? They've got a big chunk they've got to pick up. They decide to check it down, and he just turns into a pure athlete and makes a huge play for them. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. On third down, Scott. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Well, look at the clock here. You're inside of a minute. First half hasn't gone that well for you. How are you going to play this drive? Well, I've been told by my coaches previously that the intelligent approach, go ahead and run out the clock and start over. Don't make any more mistakes. But there's also something to understanding that you've got this last drive here. You get the ball to start the second half. Try and go two for one here. Get some points now and come out of the locker room and get more points again and get your momentum really built up. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Now Breeze. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. You're trailing, you're trying to get points late in half. I absolutely understand that. But remember, it's all about the ball. And without the ball, you can't get those points. They just turned it over. Now you got to be careful because that deficit can get a little bigger on the other side with that good field position they just took over with. So after the INT, here's Wentz. Open man here is Scott, complete. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Wentz now, 5 out of 10, 50% throwing it. Not so hot, but he does have a first down. Hey, box drop, box drop. From the gun, it's Wentz. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Nelson Aguilar, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. 
And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And no mistaking that sound. It reverberated through the whole stadium. And it's the sound, Brandon, no kicker wants to hear. It looked like he had it on target the whole way, but the upright said, uh-uh. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. On first and 10, here's Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. Give him six on the play, and it'll be a second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Breeze now, 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Airing it out deep for Smith. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And he'll bring it all the way back, just a yard or two shy of midfield. Oh, well, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL... Well, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. You can't block me. Mike's 55. Five. 56. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Now Wentz. He'll hit Jackson complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Deshaun Jackson, 49 yards. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line.
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And three interceptions in this game. I would have to think, I was in a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked up by Jim. Playing skills, you did.